Hey, yeah, Brian here, and this week at the movies, I went to see Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I was actually at the Irish premiere. <laughs> look, look how cute I was. The Crimes of Grindelwald, of course, second of five movies in that Fantastic Beasts franchise, which is, of course, based on one book, based on a spin-off of the Harry Potter franchise. So, you know, long awaited. The cast consists of Eddie Redmayne, who was Stephen Hawking, The Theory of Everything, Johnny Depp, who was, of course, Captain Jack Spada, Jude Law, who was in Sherlock Holmes, and Ezra Miller, who is The Flash. The director is David Yates, who of course directed Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deadly Hallows Part 1, Deadly Hallows Part 2, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, this movie, and the next three Fantastic Beasts movies. So you'd think you know what he's doing, don't you? So the story itself isn't actually great. I was trying to put the plot together earlier on, but I couldn't. The story, it's a bit all over the place. The acting is good, like it's very good, but you just don't connect with the characters the way you did like in Harry Potter. Like you don't feel the same for Newt as you did for Harry or Ron or Hermione or Neville or Hagrid or Dumbledore or any of them. Even Jude Law, he was very good as Dumbledore, but you don't feel the same as he did for Dumbledore and Harry Potter. The main problem with this movie is it feels like a franchise movie. It is a franchise movie. It's not the movie you'll watch on your own, it's not like Too Fast, Too Furious, even though that is a franchise movie as well. You can watch that on its own and it's still great. You can't watch this movie without having seen all the Harry Potters and Fantastic Beasts. You have no idea what is going on. As much as I am giving out, the special effects were just phenomenal for the magic and the beasts where they just looked real. They were so, so good. So I actually, I loved seeing all that, but there's not that much magic in it though. It's mostly building story, which the story wasn't even that good either, so it didn't really work out in my opinion. So in conclusion, the story's a bit all over the place, the acting is good, the characters aren't, and the movie itself is just a setup movie. It's not a great one at all. So that's why I'm gonna give Fantastic Beasts 6 Lacking Neville Longbottoms out of 10. Meanwhile, in the other movies, Widows, good action movie, acting was great, the story wasn't, didn't live up to the hype, 7 out of 10. Next, we have Overlord, said it was a horror, lies. It's a good action movie though, but it is just Americans versus the Nazis. I wonder who won there, 7 out of 10. And lastly, we've Nutcracker in the Four Realms, great casting, terrible film, even for children, 4 out of 10. That's it for me, see you next time.